Hello, today I'm going to be introducing some two-digit subtraction strategies. And before we get started, I wanted to point out that the point of the children using the strategies isn't just about them getting the answer. There's, they are also building number sense and number fluency and problem solving. And so um, although they may not be solving it the way that you might have learned to solve subtraction, it is still successful for them to use a strategy that makes sense to them. So the first strategy we're going to start with is called counting up. And we're going to solve the problem 43 minus 19. So we want to start with 19 and we're going to ask ourselves um, we're going to go from 19 and try to get to 43. So we ask ourselves, what's the next friendly number? And so friendly numbers consist of typically numbers counting by 10. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So from 19, we would jump to 20. And then we would ask ourselves, how many did we jump? One. And from this point now, children really have a choice of what's best for them. Some students will see that from 20, they can jump all the way to 40 and they jumped 20. And then from 40, they jump again to 43. And then they ask themselves, how many times did they jump? They jumped 24 times. Other students might see it from 19 to 20, from 20 to 30, from 30 to 40, and from 40 to 43. But as you can see, they would still end up with the same answer each time. The next strategy is called incrementing. Forty-three minus nineteen. So for this problem, we start off with forty-three and we think to ourselves, can I pull a friendly number out of that nineteen? So I'm gonna pull out ten. So 43 minus 10 is 33. And then from 33, um, I still have another nine I have to pull out. So if I pull out three from that nine, it gets me down to a friendly number of 30. And so I still have another six I have to take away because I've only taken away 13 of my 19. So now I subtract six and 30 minus six is 24. The third strategy is called decomposing. When we added, we decomposed both, uh, both numbers, but when we subtract, we only decompose the number that we're subtracting. So we take 43 minus 10, and we get 33. And from 33 minus 9, some students will be able to count backwards, 33 from 9. Other kids might see the 9 and break it into a friendly number of a 3 and 6, similar to incrementing. And so we would have 33 minus 3 is 30, and then 30 minus the 6 is 24. And the final strategy is expanded form. For this strategy, we have 43 minus 19. We're going to expand out 43. So typically, kids are going to first see expanding out 43 as 40 and 3. But through experience of using base 10 blocks, the kids have learned once they try to subtract it, it's not going to work. That 43 can also be broken up into 30 and 13. And then 19 would stay a 10 and a 9. And now they just get to subtract straight down. So they're going to subtract their 10s. And then they're going to subtract 13 minus 9 and get 4. And then they put their 10s and 1s together and they get 24. So I hope after seeing these strategies modeled for you, it will help you assist your child with their homework. And if you have any questions, please feel free to ask their teacher. You can email them or stop by at school. Thank you.